Okay, guys. Here we are. A nice sunny day here in Hope, B.C. on March 21st. And I was just cleaning the house and doing those normal routines that I haven't done in... Well, I've done them the last three years, but when I lived up in the bush, it wasn't the same thing. Cleaning up there was not the same as cleaning here. So I've kind of had to relearn how to clean a house uh, being down here. Uh, there are so many things that you get used to seeing every day that you forget that are there. Then all of a sudden your eyes go, oh, I didn't know dust was there, you know? And um, anyway, I'm observing that today. And as I'm going about the house, I'm thinking about conspiracies. And I'm thinking how they are so put down and um, people that are involved in um, in the world and the world regime, how it's been set up for, for centuries, how things are supposed to go. They follow the, that way, the way they say things should be done. Well, I used to be a Catholic. And if I had followed those um, regimes that I learned growing up that, oh, I had to marry another Catholic, and um, Catholic was the only way, you only looked at the Catholic view, I would not be here where I am today. I, um, had, I had these thoughts when I were, was in church at different times that, um, is that man really telling you all the truth? Things like that would come to my mind. And it wasn't until the year 1980-81, when I was in the Catholic Church with my first husband, I had belonged to this certain church, and my husband had converted from no belief to Catholicism because when you get married in the Catholic Church, they want you to, your spouse, to become a Catholic. And so we became a Catholic. And anyway, we were at this church, and he was really active in there, doing a lot of different things. And, um, what was I, where was I going with this? God, that dog barked, and I can't remember. We got involved in the church and doing a lot of things. And then, uh, there was a charismatic movement going on in the church, where there was about, oh, I don't know, about five, six married couples involved in it. And the whole purpose of it was to lead you to um, accept Jesus in your heart. And you were still a Catholic, but it was more charismatic. You were out involved in um, helping others find Jesus and this whole thing. Well, that particular night when I was there with Wayne, I did find Jesus. I guess because my whole life changed after that. I was a refunder at the time and a... Um, I was making uh, really good money doing this by saving your coupons and your labels and, and that sort of thing. And then I um, knew I had to change my life, so I changed it, and then I got really involved in religion and the Bible and all this sort of thing. And the whole thing here about conspiracies is if I had not challenged my beliefs and um, saying, well, maybe this is not the way to go, I'd still be there in that narrow box, misled. But I did listen to these thoughts, and I challenged myself. And, and it wasn't easy, because everybody I knew at that time was Catholic. And if I had asked them for an op opinion, well, I didn't know what I was talking about. So I had to challenge myself. I had to get the courage to step out of what I had known all my life and to study other beliefs. And so I guess that's how I have been all my life after that, challenging myself to not to just believe everything that has been said or handed down. And so I always look for confirmations of anything, that there is more than one person uh, giving this view, and if I say um, the 9-11 thing, 
uh, that that thing that they're saying is a conspiracy right now that that you know couldn't have possibly happened by uh, the United States um, wanting it to happen well now if you really go in and you study this you know for a fact that it was planned by the United States and it was all a planned thing and but the thing of it is you got to be open-minded but not so open-minded that you're become dumb but you have to challenge yourself and to uh, consider different ways of belief so I know that I am a person that challenges things that if I hear something on the media um, I don't uh, believe it I have to test it out to find out what other people are saying what other sources are saying and see uh, what's going on out there then I test my intuition and my heart and so this was on my heart right now just to talk about this because it's been bugging me because um, I know people that are into conspiracies get ridiculed and and teased and and um, just not looked at they know really what they're thinking about is really true so I just had to uh, put that out today because I was just in that frame of mind so I hope everybody's doing well love you guys you know I really do and um, I don't feel alone when I'm when I'm doing these videos so hang in there you want me to sing home on the range one of these days I will I've been singing it a lot lately I don't know I only know the first three or four verses but that song just comforts me so much and I've gotten so that I visualize the the home on the range where the deer and the antelope are and now I'm adding my own fixtures and my own animals and everything and I just love that place so much I really do it brings me such happiness maybe I'll have a home on the range one day with my own added fixtures okay guys love ya bye for now you see the dogs play let's see if they're playing right now